guys so it is Sunday afternoon and it's been a crazy day and so my kids were really tired so they went down to bed early and my husband has a meeting at church tonight so we don't get to hang out for a little bit so I figured it would be a good opportunity for me to organize my pantry it's been a really long time since I've like just reorganized it purged some things we've kind of changed our way of eating so um, I kind of need to like reformat it and it's just a hot mess right now so I'm gonna show it to you real life real mess and I figured it would be motivating because I'm pretty tired so I thought it would be motivating for me to take you guys along with me so I will show you my messy pantry and then show you me organizing it okay so this is my hot mess pantry and it was organized but I we kind of changed our way of eating um, we're not having as many we're, we barely have flour. I have tried to change my daughter's diet to gluten-free. And then we are trying to have low-carb diet. And then I also have... This is... It's not, like, the best pantry. So it makes it kind of difficult to organize. So I just... There's certain appliances I want to get rid of. And then I used to have a basket here. And I got rid of it. And then I never reorganized it. So it's a lot of things that I kind of have changed and I never took the time to reorganize it so I figured I'd take you guys along with me today to kind of reorganize it and my goal is to kind of get rid of some stuff up there and then just kind of go through the baskets there's some things that we kind of stopped eating and then I forgot to clean it out and just they're probably bad by now so I have to get rid of that stuff and then I have to reorganize this since I took out the basket and kind of fix it up. So I will show you guys um, a little bit after I start organizing. Okay, it. so so far I've cleaned. I know the lighting isn't great in this closet, but I organized this um, like this is like the deeper end of the pantry and pretty much what I did was I had a ton of appliances like up here and it just was like a jumbled mess so I decided to move them down here and I had half here and half like on this top shelf so I just decided let me scoot back so you can see it a little bit better I just decided to put them all here and this space is open because my food processor goes there and then I have my other appliances here and then this is all like stuff for baking and then these this is a rice cooker and I used to use it like all the time but now we have more like quinoa or just vegetables but I don't want to get rid of it because I love it and it's a really good one so I want to keep it for whenever we do have um, like rice on special occasions or whatever I have it and then that is um, like a Dutch oven pot for like soups when it's like really warm um, and we live in South Florida so I don't use that that often but I love it so I put those two on the way bottom because they're harder to get to and then I moved this silver rack a little bit closer close enough far enough where I could still pull this stuff out but close where there's not stuff constantly falling to the floor and then what was mainly there on the floor were a whole bunch of reusable bags so what I did was I just put like a command hook there and I hung the reusable bags there so then let me scoop back so you can see um, I had two bigger bins here and one small one I decided to go ahead and just do four small ones I like that better that's what I have on the bottom and I just feel like it works better with smaller bins because if they get too big then I don't go through them and clean them out and then it's just a big mess so I've already organized these four I still have to organize the bottom four and then I have to grab my uh, chalk pen and more chalk labels to label those two bins and then up here this is this part I just have like coolers back there and a cupcake holder which I don't use that often but I don't want to get rid of way in the back um, I need like a step stool to get back there 
if I need something so I rather just have those way back there then this is a tray that I use regularly like if we have breakfast on the weekends so it's easy to get to right there and then that is like my everyday cake stand like whenever I make a tree I put it in that cake stand I love that cake stand by the way this is like acrylic and it keeps everything really fresh my mother-in-law gave it to me for my birthday I think it was last year or the year before and I love it and then this is a bin I just added um, I got this from Walmart I honestly wish I could use those everywhere because I think they're so beautiful but this is $7.44 and this is a dollar um, I have all eight of these for the price of one of these so next I'm gonna organize these finish labeling this and then I'm going to go through these um, I've changed my format of baking I mainly bake with like almond flour and coconut flour and like a natural sweetener um, so I kind of want to go through my sugars and flours and stuff I'm going to keep all-purpose flour just because I I still use that like if I bake treats to take somewhere but I don't think I need like all the other flowers like I have cake flour and whole wheat flour and tons of other things that I don't need so I want to kind of make space for the flowers I use now so that's what I'm going to do okay, next. so for now I'm finished and like I said it's a really tough angle because our counter is like right next to the pantry so it's hard to show you like a huge overview is, so, like the entrance to the pantry and then over here we have, um, like over there, when I show you, is where like all the appliances are. And then here, this is where we keep most of our food. So I'm going to go up close so you can see everything and show you. Okay, so over here we have the appliances like I showed you before. The only thing I changed was um, the food processor didn't fit at the bottom how I had planned originally. So I put the food processor on top and then, I know it's hard to see, but then I put the blender and then like the rest of our appliances there. And then I just put like a step stool that my daughter uses when she helps me bake. And then on the top shelf, it pretty much, I showed you this before, we have the coolers in the back and then the cupcake stand way back there then the cake stand and a tray and then this is like all our to-go items and then I also have like like plastic um, ice cream cups and that type of stuff and then here is all my baking stuff and so I have the almond flour up front because that's the one I use the most and then there's like the natural sweetener that I use and then in the way back I put like the regular flour and the sugar because I don't use those as often and then I have the coconut flour and then another um, sweetener that I use and then here we don't keep more than two cereals on hand it's usually like one for my husband and one for my daughter um, so those are there and then in the back I have just like the brown sugar um, in case I bake like to take it somewhere and then like protein powder and then here I have, I already showed you, the reusable bags. And then back here, I just put another command hook um, here for like the plastic bags. Because we use those in all the little trash cans. And then here, we just have one of those like um, three, the three tier things. And then back there, we just have some like protein powder that my husband drinks. And then I also use um, coconut oil pretty often. So we have that and then our oils and vinegar. And then just like I try to limit any canned things I need for like the week so it doesn't pile up and then expire. And then here my husband is like a big coffee guy. So these are just like different coffee. I had gotten him a coffee subscription for our anniversary. So these are like for coffees and different things like that so it's labeled beverages um but these two jars are in front um so yeah and then this is uh the jar for quinoa this is something my mom gave me for baking and I don't I didn't label it and now I don't remember what it is so I have to call her and ask her so that I could label that and then my husband is also a big tea guy um every Christmas I fill his stocking with Harney and Sons teas 
So he has like, I gave, I put like one of those three tier things for him also. And then he puts all his cheese there. And then he also has like these cheese that I just put there so that they're all in one spot. And this was like way at the bottom and it was just a mess. So I figured, let me just put them all together and that way it's easy to see. And then let me back up here. And then we have these four bins. I'm happy that I decided to change it and just put like all the same sizes. Like I mentioned earlier, I got all of these bins from the Dollar Tree. I've had them for a while um, in this pantry. And then the labels, I think I got from the Target Dollar Spot. So I just relabeled some of them because we kind of were changing um, how we were like the types of things we we're buying so I really love these bins and um, like we keep a lot of different like the bottom is more like the kids snacks and then the top is more like things from my husband's lunch and that type of thing and then um, like this is some baking things that I use that are not up at the top um, so I have that there too and then um, I just have like some uh, cutting boards and that type of thing over there and then those are drinks for my husband so all I have to do is like mop the floor but it's all organized found this helpful and if you um, have any requests on uh, organizing videos or tours of certain things for ideas please let me know in the comments below and if you like seeing organizing videos please give this one a thumbs up Thanks, and I'll see you next time.